Hey guys, it's Alana. Welcome back to my channel. Today I look insane and I'm going to go ahead and test out the Tati Beauty palette for you all. I have had this for a little over a week now and I'm sure you all have already gone and watched all of the videos, but my life just did not set me up to be able to put this up right away. Um, I'm sorry for any delay. And yeah, I hope you like this video. So this is the Tati Beauty Palette. This is from Tati Westbrook. It also says it's the volume one. So hopefully that means that there's more neutrals coming, but you know, I know that not everybody could do neutrals all the single time, whatever, whatever. But like this palette, you guys, this palette, are you kidding me? So this is the packaging, it's nice and ugly because I've been using it, but it can get wiped off, I'm just messy. Um, and side note real quick, as you can see, my brows look crazy. Um, they, they're, they're, they're a little crazy right now and it'll get better, but I wanted to do something where I like started off with my eyes primed and my brows done to see if um, it works better for me, so yeah all right let's get into this palette let you see what it looks like all right if you don't know who tati is you are a robot you're not human um but if you don't you know i guess i'll link her channel below um you know who am i but i mean if you go find her because of me you could let her know in the comments you could say hey Alana sent me over here. Alana Jane, check her out, Tati. Anyways, so you open up the palette and there it is. Um, I love this palette. It has a, a beautiful mirror if you can't see that. And um, I love it. It's gorgeous. I did, I've done my makeup multiple times with this. I did my best friend's makeup with this. Um, and it's just phenomenal. And that's not even just because I'm a fan of Tati. I'm, I love Tati. Everything that Tati recommends, I have never, I've never found her recommendations to be wrong. So I have built a trust with Tati that her product is going to be amazing and it is. So we've got four textures here. We've got matte, sequin, metallic, and glitter. And then so we've got different story colors. So there is memory, ritual, story, soothe, aura, and poet. And I am super excited to jump into this with you guys. I'll give you guys some swatches as well as a look on my eyes. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So I'm going to start off by swatching these colors for you guys. I'm going to start off with the memory. I've got matte black in memory, sequin. It's so beautiful. Like, I don't even know if you can tell, but it's got like this beautiful shimmer in it. We've got the metallic, and then the glitter. These glitters are phenomenal. I don't, um, sorry, I'm not very good at swatching my pinky, but. And this is memory. Okay, you guys, next up we have the ritual. That is the second row it's this nice brown row and i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you right here i've got the matte brown i've got a sequin color i don't know if you can see those shimmers but yes queen yes <laughs> Gold Sassy. I've got the metallic shade. And last but not least, 
the glitter. I'm scared. Wow, look at that glitter. Are you kidding me? That is just amazing. So I 100% recommend Tati's palette. Um, it's $48 and I think for what you're getting here and the textures and just how wearable this palette is, I think it's very reasonable. I'm going to go ahead and pin back my hair real quick just to get it out of the way. So now I'm going to go ahead and swatch the story um, line for you and I'm going to start off with the, I'm going to start off with the matte shade. That's the matte shade. Next up is sequin. Metallic. Last but certainly not least, I have glitter. Woo, baby. Now that, that is literally like fall. Oh. Do you guys see that? Sorry, I don't have the best filming angle for swatches. I haven't really done swatches on my channel yet, so tips and tricks would be greatly appreciated, but I'm trying my best, okay? Now I've got the Soothe line. I'm gonna do Story. Sequin. Metallic. And last but not least, the glitter. Glitter here and glitter there. Sorry, my hand literally looks disgusting right now. But I wanted to show you guys these. And this is kind of an easier position for me to do that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do story or aura now. This is the. The matte shade, which you can't even really tell. I put it like right there, but you can't really tell because I'm so pale, you know? I've got that shade. This is the sequined right there. This line down my hand here, you guys, is a vein. I'm that white. Um, right now on camera, to me, it looks like I am bruised. <laughs> I'm not bruised. It's literally my vein. Uh, we've got metallic here. And the glitter. Look at that glitter. This has been such a long time coming for Tati to have makeup out. Um, it's just kind of wild that Tati has makeup out now because I remember when she was going to launch Halo and we all thought it was going to be makeup. And then it was vitamins and there was kind of this confusion and a little bit of anger and a little bit of like, ooh girl, I feel bad. But the Halo brand has taken off and I'm so happy that she now has another brand, which is Tati Beauty. That's, that's wild for her. Okay, so the last row is Poet. This is the more purple row. This is the sequin here. Again, I suck at swatching. Metallic. And then the glitter. Wow. That glitter is something else. Wow. All right, guys, so that is the whole palette swatched for you. So let's get into this makeup look. Hi, how are you? Some uh, Jeffrey right there up in my, my brain. I'm going to go ahead and start by taking Aura on a fluffy brush and just kind of blending that in. 
to my eyelid just everywhere kind of like a base sometimes I like doing this because I feel like it helps me let everything else blend in a little bit better I am next gonna take a brush that looks like this and I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the shade soothe in the matte formula and then I'm going to right above where that my eye line my eyelid creases I'm gonna do it right there I um, try my best when I'm doing eyeshadow to not do this. Um, I've heard over the years that like it really just doesn't help you to um, have the eye look that you're looking for when you do that. So I've been trying my best to not do that. I was recently doing my friend's makeup for a photo shoot that we did and she kept raising her eyebrows and I was like, stop it. Stop raising that eyebrow. I'm gonna get ya. Stop it, girl. Um, so let's see. I got this Tati palette. I did not get my hands on the Shane palette. Ever since I saw the reveal of the palette, I've just been going back and forth. I don't know for sure if I want it. I'm kind of nervous that I won't use it as much. I knew with the Tati palette, like it was gonna get used, hands down no ifs ands or buts i would use it so um that's why i purchased it the shane palette i saw it in person i went to the morphe store i saw their tester it's gorgeous i love the packaging i love pretty much everything about it there are certain colors in there that i'm like Ugh, i'm never gonna use them and yeah I don't know. I want to buy it because I want to support Shane. But I also don't want to buy it because I don't want to have shades that I'm not going to use. But then I was on this like... I got in this little mindset and I was like... I need it. I need it right now. Sorry, I'm going to put on some lip. This is just like leftover lip stuff that I have from Tarte. I'm just feeling a little crusty down here. I even got to like look at this, the lip glosses in the store. Um, not the lip glosses, but the lips. Um, his gloss, the Shane Glossin, I got to see that. Um, they didn't have them out. It was weird. I went to the Arden Fair Mall in Sacramento. And they didn't have the lipstick testers out. But I asked a Morphe associate and then like she brought them and I got to see them. So that was interesting. Okay, um, next up I'm going to go into the shade Ritual in the matte color and I'm going to pack that onto my lid. Um, well, my outer corner, not my lid. Um, this brush looks a lot like I put so much on it, but it's actually just because it's dirty. You guys already know. Something I need to get better at is packing on the lid. The outer corner whatever I don't really doesn't matter so yeah I went to the Morphe store I saw the Shane palette it's really cool it kind of made me want to buy it I did like finger swatch it and they were like very buttery very creamy I have never tried anything from Jeffrey before so that's probably just like Jeffrey's formula that um I didn't really know much about. I'm almost halfway through with my second course in my master's degree program and so far it's going well. I've got an A which I'm so stoked about. Um, my niece was born. It's been like two or three weeks now. She was born on October 14th. I am so happy that she is here. She is healthy. She is so gorgeous. Her name is Lennon. I just, she's going to be the most beautiful little old soul. And I just can't wait to like meet her. My sister lives in Oregon. So um, she's a little bit far right now. 
can't go see her right away, but it's gonna happen. I'm coming for you, Lennon. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and say hi real quick to my nephews, Grayson and Jones, just in case they are watching, because I know that my sister will put on my videos while on the uh, like while the boys are around, like on the TV, and they like they don't understand that like. I'm not on FaceTime, so I can't hear them. So they want to like show me things and they're like, Auntie Nana, Auntie Nana. And it's so cute. I love them so much. I can't even. So love you. I love you guys. I'm going to go back into Sue's on that brush I was using. The, uh, brush, tap it off and just deepen this and kind of blend those together but yeah my niece was born my sister named her um Linda Lennon and I'm not saying her last name just because I don't know if my sister wants her last name on there but I wanted to tell you guys her first and her middle name because her first name is so unique and it's cute and I feel like it's gonna be like she's a little old soul and then the middle name is Linda and that is my mother's name. This is the 10th year of my mother's passing and my sister had a daughter and so she was like I am naming her after our mother and I love that so I wanted to let you guys know why her name was Linda okay. And you know what that means? She's gonna have a little bit of crazy in her because pretty much everyone I know whose name is Linda is wild. They're wild. So, good job, Bon. Put up, you put that on yourself. Just kidding. I'm probably gonna try to name one of my daughters if I have daughters um, after my mom. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I go back and forth between like wanting kids and not wanting kids. Not like seriously saying I don't want kids, but I'm just like, mm, you guys make, you make parenting look so fun. I'm going to take a brush like this and I'm going to go into the Soothe Sequin and just kind of buff that in too. I don't know if I told you guys yet, but, um, the company that I've been showing you guys shirts of, Inspiration Fit, they gave me a coupon code and it is we love Alana 10 and I'm not making any like money off of that. It's just kind of like a code for me, a code if I want to share with you guys. So that's why I'm letting you know because I want to share with you guys. So I will link Inspiration Fit down below and if you want to save 10% on your order, you can use the code we love Alana 10. So I kept I've mentioned a few times that I did a photo shoot and I did. I recently went with my best friend Ness, um, who's typically my photographer, and um we went to Sacramento and we saw our well my friend Scott from college. We were the same major in college, so we took a lot of courses together, and he's recently gone to photography and he's freaking amazing, and so he did photos for us and I really like, I really wanted to get some good photos of me, but I also really, really, really wanted Vanessa to get some really good photos of herself because I think that she is so beautiful and she doesn't always see her beauty and I wanted her to just like be able to have some pictures of herself looking and feeling beautiful. So um, they turned out so well. Um, I will go ahead and link Scott's Instagram down below. You should go check him out. He's friggin' awesome. Real quick, I'm taking the shade in Metallic Soothe, um, on my brush. I'm gonna go ahead and get that wet with some pretty fresh spray from ColourPop. Put this all over the lid. Yeah, it was really cool to kind of be, my friend Vanessa loves to take more like candid photos. 
She kind of likes to like capture like someone's like essence of them, their being, and really likes to just get those candid moments. Um, but Scott's style is more, not more artistic, but kind of, not in terms, like, not that Vanessa's stuff isn't artistic, it's just more natural and candid, I guess? I don't know how to explain it. And Scott likes to kind of experiment, and he likes to get, he gets some really, really good shots. Um, I haven't even seen them all yet, and I'm so freaking excited. Um, I hope that he will continue to to do it if it's something that he is passionate about. Passionate about? Wow. Passionate about? If you're passionate, then you should do it. Sometimes I hate myself. Um, but yeah. I just mixed Soothe and Ritual. And I'm just trying to blend this line here just a little bit. Right now I'm dipping into Aura in the metallic shade. I'm going to go ahead and spritz it on the brush and then apply it more in my inner lid area. If um, you are still watching and you have not subscribed to my channel yet, why not? Um, go ahead and subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload. That way you can be in the know, you know? In the know. I'm currently doing a last 90 days challenge. I don't know if I told you guys that or not. Um, I think I did. But if I didn't, I'm doing a last 90 days challenge. It started October 1st and it's basically me doing like a five to thrive it's a rachel hollis um challenge group whatever i have worked out for the last 38 days that is just wild to me i am not usually someone like that who does that but here i am i am down nine pounds i am so happy to be down nine pounds um i am 10 pounds away from what I hope to be by January 1st. So if I keep it up, um, I can hit that goal before January 1st and that would be amazing. <laughs> that would just be so great. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the Aura Glitter and put that on my lid. And I'm just pressing it onto my lid. Very gently. Wow. I don't know if you guys can see that, but man, this glitter formula is just... The glitter shade in Soothe, and I'm going to pop that right here, kind of like almost to the outer corner. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend over it in a moment. As you guys know, so far, this is what it's looking like. There is a bit of fallout, but I honestly just attribute that to user error. Uh, real quick, I'm going to pop some Aura sequin up here. Wow, not even Aura sequin, Aura um, metallic up here on this brow bone. Bring it down here. And then I'm currently going to jump on to the rest of my face and then we'll come back and finish off the eyes. So I will be right back. All right, you guys, so I am back. I did foundation, I did some bronzing, some blush, um, and then a little bit of the fake Tarte Fake Awake Liner on my lower lash line and now I'm going to go ahead and do my under eye before I finish doing lashes and highlights. So I just took some Soothe in a mixture of the matte and the um, sequin formula and I'm going to go ahead and do this under my eyes and start blending. Mm. 
Next, I'm going to go ahead and take a tiny little guy like this. And I'm going to dip into Ritual in the sequin shade and get that really close to that waterline as well. I went ahead and took a little bit of the metallic, metallic shade of Soothe on a little packing brush. I misted it and now I'm going to put it in the center under eye area. And then I'm also going to dip into Aura Metallic right next to it. And then just bring down this whole inner corner. So now before I do my lashes and my lips, I'm going to go ahead and take my Amrezy highlight and highlight my face. Give it a good glow. I'm going to use these lashes by Eiler in, um, I believe this must be a collaboration with a girl named Jasmine Brown. I don't know who she is, but they are called Curly Queen dramatic because I'm a curly queen and I'm dramatic. So let me go ahead and pop on some lashes and I will be right back. Hey guys and I'm back. This is the finished look. I popped on those lashes and then I went ahead and popped on a lip as well. This is Speed Up by Shayla and Colourpop and I wanted to show you guys the finished look. Okay, you guys, so um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you stuck around for this long, please, please, please give this video a big thumbs up. I want to see if you stuck around to the end of the video. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below if you are planning on buying Tati Beauty um, or if you are not. I would like to know what your thoughts are on this palette and how you think that this look turned out. I really actually love it. I love the glitter. I think it's perfect for the holidays that are just around the corner. Um, and if you just love glitter and you want to be glam, um, this is the palette. This is the palette. So um, yeah, leave a comment, like this video if you made it to the end, and do not forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you haven't already. That way you're notified when I upload. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.